Hello everyone, as you can see this is the iMac. The problem is recently one of my customer he placed his SD card in here instead of there. So finally SD card stuck in the Blu-ray or uh, DVD drive. So I'm going to show you how to take this out. A lot of people tried with kind of so a lot of people tried with paper and stuff like that to put it inside bring it out that's not the actual proper way yes it does help sometimes but that could damage your disk drive okay so I'm going to show you the appropriate way how you can take it out without damaging your DVD drive and you need a couple of tools you know torch screw this one you know now if you ask me which size I don't know but I will find out and mention anyway and then Phillips screwdriver couple of tweezer flat opening tool that's all and obviously the suction okay so first as you can see the front this is not the actual LCD that is just a cover with strong magnetic uh, you know bond in there so I'm going to show you how to open up and perform this repair so first of all Put the suction cup in and try to pull this out towards it slowly slowly two person would be really good to perform this repair as you can see this one came out pull this out put it in a safe place and then with the star key or torch screw you need to open up all the screw to disassemble this actual screen which one has one two three four five six seven eight screws you need to take out so i already did, did take out most of them and just to save the time i'm not going to show you i'm going to show you only one how to remove it remember next to the screw this is high powerful magnet so that's going to be a little bit tricky you know apple always does they want to stop you to do independent repair that's why they design it like that but anyway use the screwdriver i'm going to lift it up with my as you can see how dangerous it is to damage the screen and stuff one over the app and from this side another one and leave it till it will be upside that way because once you open all the screws your screen could be yes some kind of injury and stuff like that okay okay so it's done already eight screws in here as you can see four and four eight all of them same in size so leave it like that now gently gently you need to lift a little bit and then pull it out towards you okay so i'm gonna leave this up in that way and pull it on the top way okay don't lift it up because as you can see the border this border if you lift up straight away in that way pull out towards you that could damage the actual screen circuit board which is in right here so a little bit pull it and then pull it towards the top and then before you get that far you need to disconnect few cables I already disconnected but I will show you which one it is just for the better view I done it already okay so I'm gonna put the screen into a safe place okay which one very difficult to bring it in the video that's the reason I skip it okay so first one what you need to do first one is right here uh, one second uh, that's the one this is the first one because if I show you from here you can see this is more close to get and reach in there so you need to take out either you can use the kind of tool is that never touch this board never touch it because this is the power supply and super high voltage and never perform this repair when the main cord i mean the power lead is connected you know that would be very dangerous okay 
even there is no power but still i'm avoiding this sign. to touch this as you can see the bolt sign okay so first disconnect that one once you disconnect you're gonna get a little bit of space the second one would be that one so these two you got it once you done these two then you will have little bit more space one is that one so slowly slowly you're gonna tilt it towards you and perform the disconnection okay and this one would be a little bit difficult and the last one is that one so how many we did connected one two then three three four okay four of them so once you're done there then the next job would be to take out this kind of antenna cable which one covered with the foam tape i kept in here for example it was like that it was like that peel this off put it in a safe place and take the tweezer go underneath and pull this out now this is the actual disk drive which one secured with few screws so now we're going to take out few screws one two three four maybe underneath there so first before i take out any screw down i'm gonna take this kind of foil paper and leave it like that which is sticky in here and i'm gonna start removing one by one this is the first one i'm gonna organize the screw because the size could be very and different this is the second one very careful when you take out make sure your screwdriver is fully magnetic otherwise if it goes in it could be stuck anywhere and that is the third one and that is the fourth one This is little bit longer so bear in mind okay. so the four screws already removed now somebody try to pull out the actual DVD drive okay but I don't want to do that the super multi drive what I do I open up the front shell okay we shall cover up the actual drive and then if I try to lift this up it's gonna come out slowly slowly gently if you try it's gonna be come up as you can see now from here i'm going to try to find the memory card okay let's check if i can able to see or not okay all right so with my eyes i can see there is no light otherwise i was going to show you all right so once we taken out all the screws, we'll try to open up and try to find that memory card if it is there or not I don't know if you able to see or not because the place is very dark but I can see this is the memory card which is right in there because of my customer he tried with the paper tree which one didn't work now we able to take out the memory card from the actual disk drive okay okay so once we take it out what we can do we can reseal it Take the flex wind in, make sure this is outside, otherwise it's going to cut. And then we'll close it back. Okay, so now we're going to put this back. Make sure the antenna cable is outside, otherwise it's easy to trot. Put the foil back into the place. Okay, and now we're going to put back all the screws. It was like this. Exactly, it was like that, which is fine. Now we need to put back the actual screen, which is very sensitive. So 
make sure you do it in a safe way. Okay, so this time I'm going to try the other way around, opposite way. So what I'm going to do first, I will try to connect whichever I can get rich. They always make it more difficult, this one down. And then I believe next one will be that one, which is like that. connected so two of them go on third one is the screen which is right here so I need to get close to the I'll put it down that way I need to get close to the screen and put support on the screen with one hand another hand would attach it very careful don't damage your flex otherwise you have to replace the actual screen or the main logic board let me check let me observe it one side is done another side is not which is definitely not perfect All the way in and sealed that is fine it takes a little bit of time don't be confused don't think this is end of the time or whatever and this one there is no connector anyway I thought there is a connector okay let me check that's fine yeah, okay and the last one is that one Yeah, that is also connected now we are free to go everything is connected properly okay and now I'm going to check the screw holes okay once we are done then we can put it downwards just to make it easier as you can see that way. And now easily I can put the screw back into the place. Okay, six screws. I'm gonna start from this side. Very careful when you put back all the screws because it seems it's a little bit difficult because of the magnet. As you can see the magnet is pulling the screw letting me to do my job that's fine I'm gonna take this one then I will have some extra room to do my job Once you're done there, the next job would be remove all the fingerprint from the screen. As you can see, the lot of marks here. Otherwise, that's going to be stays in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use kind of a micro block, which is that one, to remove it without any kinds of alcohol or cleaner. Okay. <laughs> it down nice and gently place this in here first the bottom part 
exactly that way and if the alignment is fine then you can let it go slowly and gently it's going to pull once it's close to the frame as you can see very careful with your finger this is a kind of potential hazard to damage your fingers and stuff and now you can clean the top bit with any kinds of you know glass cleaner or kind of alcohol and stuff like that i'm going to try some kinds of blue towel to clean it because this is super dirty and that is the actual memory card which one was stuck inside so now we can put it upright that way so that's all that's how we remove the memory card if it gets stuck into the blue disc drive okay and dvd drive most of the people they tried with the paper and stuff like that in that way if you push any kind of l shape of plastic or let's say acrylic things it could damage the actual lens inside which is no ideal remember once you made the mistake it, it you must have to pay back and that's the reason why we pull out the actual glass which is magnetic glass and then the pull out the lcd then we open up the disc drive screws and finally we already able to take out the memory card which one is stuck here still if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and if you know any better way please let us know so somebody can get some help thank you so much for watching bye for now thank you